Well, good morning, everybody. It has been uh, it has been way too long since I did one of these videos, and I'm I'm sorry, but <laughs> we've been incredibly busy. And uh, today is New Year's Day, and I operated on somebody yesterday, and I just had to see her. So now I'm alone in the office, and I can talk to you again. So um, actually, but yesterday's case was really uh, very interesting. As a woman. I'm going to try and see if I can show you these photos here. Um, is a woman who has had uh, previous surgery in her occipital area in the back uh, with uh, really good success. Um, still has a little bit of pain in the back, but it's uh, vastly better than it was. But she then, uh, we knew she had frontal pain as well. Uh, so pain in her uh, foreheads and temple. So she had tried a lot of different things, including Botox, um, and uh, the neurologist wanted to use a nerve stimulator, which she didn't want to do, um, which I think was a wise choice. Um, but anyway, so we did some nerve blocks in her supraorbital, supratrochlear nerve, as well as her zygomaticotemporal nerve and auricular temporal nerve. Um, and uh, we fixed her pain uh, with those temporary nerve blocks. We temporarily fixed her pain, which are diagnostic nerve blocks and using lidocaine, not steroids or anything like that. So again, just the lidocaine shuts down the nerve and the pain gets better and we know that then she's a surgical candidate. So yesterday we operated on her. And let's see, hopefully you can see this picture uh, here. And um, in the picture you can see that there is a bone at the orbital rim. And again, I, now hopefully now you can see me, this is the orbital rim, the bone in the upper orbital rim, we call it the superior orbital rim. And the nerves, you know, back here at this picture, the nerves are coming through a hole in the orbital rim. So there's a, it's called a foramen or a tunnel where the nerves are coming out uh, through the bone and that hole is too tight uh, around those nerves, which uh, was causing irritation of the nerves. So um, that's one configuration that we can find uh, when we're looking at these kinds of uh, things. Sometimes there's a notch uh, in this bone, so uh, just a, 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 a notch, uh, and at the bottom of that notch is some connective tissue, and I think you've seen in some of my other uh, videos um, that how, how that can happen and sometimes that connective tissue just needs to be cut and we can do that just with um, you know, with scissors really uh, but this was bone and uh, the bone was causing constriction which we find not infrequently as well so here in the next picture um, you can see where that actual bone has been chipped away uh, and now you can see the nerves all the way going through the tunnel and so they're not compressed in the tunnel anymore and so they'll have a little more room to breathe, uh, as we say, and um, have less compression and therefore um, less irritation. And I just saw her this morning and she didn't have any pain, so we're pretty excited about that. So uh, again, sorry for the hiatus and I uh, hope you find uh, this, this video helpful. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, doing more of these uh, as time allows uh, in, uh, in the next year, okay? Uh, Happy New Year. I'll take care.